Excelling on the game's biggest stage is what tennis players dream about. For Steve Dossis, that became a reality when he shocked two-time Wimbledon champion Rafael Nadal at SW19 four years ago. It was big, you know, when you go on court, you, you think you have not so many chances because it's not the, the game that I like to play. Lefty with heavy spin, but uh, yeah, I played an unbelievable match from the beginning till the end. It was maybe not 100% fit, but uh, till at the end, it was tough for me to believe that I, that I beat this, this guy. In May this year, the Belgian, now 33, broke into the top 40 for the first time in his career. He started the year really well and now he's, he's playing really well at the end of the season. I always knew that he was a, a, gr a great player, uh, but he, ne he needed to be 100% uh, uh, and healthy for, uh, for a few months to have uh, his best ranking. I hope he will uh, play his best tennis until the end of the year. It looks like he has no pressure whenever he's playing, he's playing free. I've played him in, in practice and uh, yeah, I've, I've never seen him play like this. I had uh, always good coaches. Just now, like I'm 33 years old, many injuries, so I work a little bit different. I think I improve a lot uh, physically. I have a new coach since, since uh, two years, and physically I'm much much stronger. And uh, yeah, it helped me a lot, you know, to win uh, tough matches and uh, to recover after matches. And uh, I can play longer. I can play more rallies, uh, getting less tired. He's been working a lot physically, and uh, we're trying to keep working you know, on some different points of, the, of his game, trying to go more at the net as often as we can, because anyway, even if you work physically, you're getting old but little by little, so hitting balls is not enough. You have to think a little bit on the court. All the young guys now, they play, they play so fast. Uh, so me, I'm a little bit playing like, like uh, old school tennis, you know, a lot of slice. Uh, Staying from the baseline, coming in when I can, but uh, yeah, when you see all the guys now, they, they play so fast, they are so strong, they, they serve uh, like bomb all the time, and uh, yeah, me it's a little bit different, but I'm still here, so still working a little. Another key motivation for Darcy's is the chance for his two young daughters to watch him compete. The tallest one, she's four and a half years old, so when I play in Belgium, she's coming, so it's pretty nice. Uh, she's supporting me a lot. She loves tennis. She watched all my matches, so it's very nice. Okay, the smallest one, she's only, only three months, so it's going to come maybe in a few years. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see her in the, in the stands and uh, to see her supporting me a lot. And uh, yeah, that helped. It's tough to travel. Um, I have to say, when you have to leave, it's very tough. Uh, but yeah, they helped me a lot to fight every day and to go practice, to go in tournament. And uh, yeah, if they were not there, I don't know what, what would I do. The dedicated Steve Darcy's with it all to play for.